The world is full of awesome and useful inventions, but for every invention with a clear purpose, there's one that was apparently just invented to make you question your own sanity. Welcome back to Catnip and today we present you 10 objects that were clearly invented just to annoy physics and physicists alike. So come on, let's learn together. For the 10th place we have the Gombok. The Gombok is what mathematicians like to call a mono-monostatic object, which is a fancy way of saying that it's impossible to put this thing down the wrong way. If you do, it will write itself just like it's full of angry, obsessive and compulsive ghosts. This may not sound impressive until you realize that there's literally only one way you can put this thing down on a flat surface. Regardless of how you place the Gombok, it will always revert back to its singular point of equilibrium thanks to some clever math. In other words, the Gombok's only practical purpose is demonstrating what a Gombok is, which would be fine if it didn't cost 200 whopping euros. For the next place, we have the Rattleback. Like the Gombok, the Rattleback is a shape that was designed seemingly just to make people accuse you of being a wizard. It's a small elliptical object that can only be spun either clockwise or counterclockwise, designed completely depending on its design. If you try to spin a Rattleback in the opposite direction, it will actively resist the motion and then turn in the direction it's intended to go because, well, it shits on physics. Watch it in action and try to tell us it doesn't look like a cheap effect from a crappy horror movie. Amazingly, rattlebacks aren't just the result of scientists working tirelessly in a lab or mathematicians trying to solve a long-standing equation. People have been using these things as toys for thousands of years, if not less. Though scientists have kind of figured out how the rattleback works, the fact that they are able to completely reverse their direction is so unbelievable that it's not common for scientists to assume they are the work of trickery when first seeing them. Like this guy who went out and made his own when he saw one on TV because he couldn't believe it until he saw it firsthand. For the 8th place, we have the Uphill Water Fountain. The Uphill Water Fountain is the brainchild of engineer James Tyson, yes, the genius inventor who invented the vacuum cleaner, and according to him, he created the sculpture purely to see if it could be done and it took him just over a year to build it. Revealed in 2003, Tyson's water sculpture, aptly named Wrong Garden, immediately drew the attention of the media when no one present was able to adequately explain how Tyson had managed to make the water flow uphill against the force of gravity. The secret was that it used compressed air to pump water uphill. To create the illusion that the water was flowing naturally, the pressurized water was sandwiched between two sheets of clear plastic and the upper layer had a thin film of water running down it. The end result was a babbling brook that appeared to flow naturally uphill like it was nothing and a bunch of people scratching their heads wondering out loud how the illusion was accomplished. For the seventh place, we have the one-way bulletproof glass. Considering that the only real purpose of bulletproof glass is to stop you from being shot to death, it shouldn't surprise you to learn that it's tougher to crack than an egg laid by a diamond hen. But then again, we have another type of glass that's only bulletproof from one side but not the other. This isn't a theoretical prototype or a pipe dream of a mad scientist. It's a real thing that exists today and is super cool. The reason undirectional ballistic glass is such a mind-screwing thing for physicists is because it's able to maintain its structural integrity while being shot at from two different directions at the same time. It simultaneously allows bullets to pass through one way while striking down the bullets heading from the opposite direction like a planar Gandalf. The secret to the glass lies in its composition. One side is covered in a thin sheet of polycarbonate while the other side is covered in a thick sheet of bulletproof acrylic. Bullets fired from the acrylic side are immediately flattened on impact, robbing them of energy that they would need to penetrate the glass, while bullets fired from the other side are caught by polycarbonate first, which doesn't deform them and allows them to pass through unscathed, which is just a long way of saying that the people who invented this found a way of turning unicorn tears into a window. For the sixth place, we have the effortless wood splitting axe. 
if we could point to a single reason why lumberjacks are portrayed as barrel-chested, beard sporting woodsmen who could just as easily crush a man's head with their bare hands as they could cup a newborn baby squirrel in them, it's splitting wood. Along with requiring an immense amount of upper body strength, splitting wood also requires keen hand-to-eye coordination and a surprising amount of technique. In short, it's really really hard, unless you happen to use this axe. Designed by Finnish inventor Heike Kana, the lever axe uses a wedged design that shifts its center of gravity ever so slightly to the side. This means the axe will almost never randomly deflect off a particular tough piece of wood because all of its energy is dissipated gradually as opposed to being violently redirected at your groin. Thanks to this, splitting wood with lever axe is way easier than it is with a regular axe to the point where even an untrained jackass could hold their own against a seasoned woodsman. For the fifth place, we have the machine that cooks ice cream. Just imagine a machine that's capable of hiding an entire scoop of ice-cold ice cream inside of a freshly cooked piping hot French pastry. We didn't just describe something from God's Kitchen, it actually and really exists. Aptly dubbed by the oxymoron Maker 2, it was invented and designed by Andrew Carula during his tenure at a famed Spanish restaurant, El Cela de Can Roca. As much as we would love to explain how it works, we can't because Carula has refused to license it at all. As a result, the only way to see it in action is to physically go to Spain. All we know about for sure is that the machine is somehow capable of sealing a blob of ice cream inside a fresh brush in seconds without compromising the taste of either. Oh, and it's partly made of bamboo too. You could probably reverse engineer one just based on that information, right? Well, keep thinking. For the fourth place, we have the glass that tells you what's inside it. The main problem with drinking from a clear glass tumbler is that it often fails to properly advertise your beverage of choice to others. Sure, they could ask you or make an educated guess based on the color of the liquid, but wouldn't it be better if the glass magically displayed the name of what it contained? If you found yourself slowly nodding your head during the latter part of that sentence, you may wish to invest in a set of cipher drinking glasses. The cipher appears to be nothing more than a regular drinking glass that's been decorated with thousands of tiny dots. But when you pour something into the glass, some of the dots disappear, spelling out the name of whatever drink you chose like some sort of liquid witchcraft. And before you ask, yes, it can tell the difference between Coke and Pepsi, seemingly for no other reason than the designer anticipating that everyone would try that. For the third place, we have the Mighty Mug. We are just going to cut to the chase with this entry. The Mighty Mug is a punch-proof travel mug. Using what the investors refer to as smart script technology, the Mighty Mug is practically impossible to knock over once it's placed on a suitable surface. It requires no force whatsoever to move. You just pick it up like a regular mug and drink on. However, while it's attached to a surface that it actually likes, the Mighty Mug can be knocked, shaken or even punched in, but it won't budge at all. Well, how does it tell the difference between someone trying to gently pick it up and an elbow nudging it towards a brand new MacBook? Well, we have absolutely no idea. But our current working theory is that it is the work of either elves or a particularly one-sided deal with Satan himself. There's no fancy trick or hidden button that you need to press to make it stay in place. It just does that because the Mighty Mug has no time to mess around. You could even stick it to a vertical surface and then punch it if you really wanted to. Now we are not saying that you have to go out and buy one of these things because they are like 20 bucks and regardless of how well it defies gravity, it's still just a mug. But if you decide to buy one, we would really love to see a video of the freaking out of your friends by putting it next to their laptop and punching it. Well, what? Voila, surprise! For the second place, we have a super hydrophobic spray. Without getting too technical, once a given object has been covered with super hydrophobic coating, it literally cannot be touched by any kind of liquid. As long as the coating remains in place, it will repel any and all liquid it comes into contact with. That's not us being hyperbolic, but that's a direct quote from a company selling such a product and as we all know, companies never lie about the capabilities of the things they sell. Now you might think we are being hyperbolic. Many of the companies making super hydrophobic sprays have released videos demonstrating exactly what the product can do. In this video, you can see materials repelling water, wet cement, paint, mud and even oil. 
Sadly, super hydrophobic sprays, or at least the good ones, can only be purchased for commercial use. Although that's probably for the best because if we had access to a can of this stuff, we would spend all day spraying it on our socks so we could keep them on when we went swimming. That's a stupid idea, isn't it? But, well, what can we do? It's an idea after all. And finally, we have the Starlight for the first place. The Starlight is a heat-resistant plastic, yes, you heard it right, plastic, invented back in the 80s by a hairdresser, Morris Ward. But don't let the description fool you into thinking Starlight's a joke, because it could easily change the world, only if anyone knew how to make it, of course. According to Ward, he was driven to invent Starlight in 1985 after witnessing the aftermath of the British Air Tours Flight 20M disaster. Several dozen people died with their plane caught fire on the runway, which inspired Ward to try and create a substance that simply couldn't burn, and he apparently succeeded. The substance which Ward created in his kitchen blender displayed remarkable insulating properties. In one famous experiment, Ward coated a raw egg in it and placed it three inches away from a lit blowtorch. Five minutes later, yes, five whole minutes later, in front of a blowtorch, the egg was cracked open to reveal that it was still completely raw, not even boiled, let alone burned. Many were skeptical of the lofty claims Ward made about Starlight, named at the request of his granddaughter. But experiment after experiment seemed to confirm everything Ward claimed. Scientists have exposed Starlight to everything from high-powered lasers to the equivalent of a nuclear flash without damaging it even a bit, let alone burning or producing smoke. Experts have theorized that Starlight could be hugely beneficial to the human world. Unfortunately, Ward was paranoid about his idea being stolen. Although he was happy for people to experiment with starlight he never actually licensed it to anyone that's not to say people didn't try ward spent years talking with defense contractors private companies and even nasa but nothing ever came of any of them because ward refused to sign confidentiality agreements even when hundreds of millions of dollars were on the table in the end ward took the secret of starlight to his grave in 2011 leaving behind thousands of annoyed scientists so that was it for the top 10 physics annoying materials and stuff of course and we hope you liked it we'll be back with special episodes like these so stay tuned on the end line we would like to thank a million to our dear subscriber family because of whom we are up here what we are now today and for all of you we would just like to say until next time stay tuned for more <laughs>